In today's tutorial, we're going to learn a technique for doing a mixed media tissue paper collage. For this project, you'll need white tissue paper, alcohol markers, a fine line black pen, and some gel medium. This is the card that I'm going to make today, and you're going to be amazed at how simple it is and how few supplies you really need. I'm starting with watercolor paper and just a regular paintbrush. And I actually keep my water in an ice cube tray when I'm watercoloring just to keep this different rinse waters for different colors separate. So that's where I'm getting my water from on the left. Now I'm going to take a Daffodil Delight re-inker and a Pumpkin Pie re-inker and really kind of water them down. I want this to be a very pale wash in the background. So you want to add a lot of water and just a little bit of ink. The next color is Melon Mambo. And I'm choosing these colors deliberately to match the blendabilities that I'm going to be using later on. So you can use whatever colors you like, but it's nice to have an echo of the colors on the tissue paper in the watercolor wash in your background. So my last color is Coastal Cabana, a nice sort of green-blue. And this is what this looks like when it's finished. Now I've gone ahead and dried it because it will curl a little bit and you will want to just kind of bend it with your fingers to get it back in place. Here's the tissue paper. This is just regular uh, gift tissue paper, sort of shiny on one side as you can see, and you really don't need very much. I always tear off just a little bit too much. Um, you don't need a piece quite this big, but it'll be good for showing you the technique. Now here are my blendabilities. Like I said, Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Pumpkin Pie, and Melon Mambo are what markers you need for the color scheme that I'm going to use. And this technique is so easy. We're going to use the brush tip and you're just going to just make little marks all over the tissue paper. Now this tissue paper is very thin. This will go through your tissue paper onto whatever surface you're working on. And since alcohol does activate alcohol, you'll want to make sure you're not putting the brush down for too long on the paper or you might pick up some of those colors that are already on your mat from making your other little marks. Now I do sort of teardrop shaped marks as you can see. I think it gives kind of a little bit more interesting look um, to those little shapes and I'm not careful I'm just doing it very quickly and I'll speed this up for the other two colors. But you could also do just perfectly round dots and that might really be fun. So here's what it looks like when it's finished and just note that it will be more intense on one side of the tissue paper than on the other. So pay attention to that when you go to put it down. But what I'm going to do now is just cut some abstract flower shapes. And I have a couple shapes in mind based on the card that you saw at the beginning of the video. And I'm going to cut those out quickly. I also am going to cut out leaves. I'm going to draw everything except the flowers and the leaves. So I'll be drawing the stems and some little accents. So I just need some real basic flower and leaf shapes. And look how fast I can cut. Now one of these I'm going to make it a spiral. And what you're going to do is just cut a spiral into a circle but then as you get to the center, you'll come back out the way you came in and trim off a little bit so that there's actually a little gap in the spiral where you'll be able to see the background like this. So the last shape I'm going to do is like a little tulip. I love that shape. And here they are. You just kind of want to lay them out and see how big they are compared to your piece of watercolor paper and put them where you want them to go so you'll know if you need to trim them down. Now my apologies for the lighting in this video. I ripped my entire studio apart this weekend so I'm not in my regular filming location and it sort of looks like I'm in a dungeon. 
And actually, it sort of feels like I'm in a dungeon because everything is in complete chaos. So um, next time, it will be better, I promise. I'm just going to trim this one a little bit. It's a little bit too big, and that fits a little bit better on the page. And I'll move these around and put the leaves where I want them. This will really help you figure out if you got things the right size or if you need to trim them down a little bit. And now you can see what I'm talking about, um, that I really didn't need as much tissue paper as I used. But I do like to have a lot of these accents on the front of the card. Um, just because the color is so much fun. So I'm working out where I'm going to put my stems and where these flowers need to go. And I've decided that this leaf is a little bit too fat. So I'm going to trim that. Oh, hi, Maddie. That's Maddie. She doesn't like it when I'm not paying attention to her and I'm talking to my computer. So there you go. That's what it's going to look like. And now comes the fun part of the collage. Now I'm using a Liquitex gel medium with a matte finish. Matte finish is, you know, it's just not shiny. And I think that it really, I don't know, it gives kind of a flatness to the front of your card that I really, really like. And just a very soft sort of velvety texture when you're done. Now I just use a foam brush for this and I get just a tiny amount of gel medium. You want to be pretty sparing with this because that helps you uh, make sure that your tissue paper doesn't buckle. So the first step is just to put a little bit down more you know in a bigger area than your tissue paper will take up and then put the tissue paper down and rub it with your fingers to make sure that you've gotten all the wrinkles out and that's a really important step. This has kind of a thicker body, this gel, and that helps it also not buckle. Now when I put the gel medium layer on top, which is the essential second step, I work from the center of the shape out to the edges, and that's another anti-buckling technique. But really a light touch with the medium itself is your friend, and because of this matte finish, you really can't tell the difference between this thin, pretty tissue paper and the card. Once you're done, it's very smooth. So be careful with your little spiral. That's one you might want to make sure that you don't lift up the edges of it with your brush. So just go slowly, take your time, make sure you work all the, the wrinkles out. And it's really a very easy uh, collage technique. And for me, it works a lot better than some thinner bodied mediums, I find that this thicker uh, thicker gel really works well for me. And again, just check and make sure as you're going through that you're using the more intense side of the tissue paper up. Next, I'm going to take a Faber-Castell pen with, I like the, the fine, extra fine point, and then also the fine point, which is what I'm using here. And I'm just going to draw some very loose, sketchy accents around these shapes. Now you want to make sure that your gel medium is completely dry when you do this. I am terrible at this and I actually didn't wait long enough to do this and so several times my pen will stop working and I'll have to scribble and get it started again because it's actually picking up a little bit of the medium. And if you love your pens, you don't want to do this to them, so please don't use me as an example. But I like to go, when I'm doing these, I like it to have kind of a doodly look, so I like to do each line twice in a real sketchy way. I think it lends a little bit of whimsy to this fun doodly technique. And I saw this, I saw a tutorial for this um, on another website, which I will link you to. And I basically just copied a lot of her patterns that she used for the flowers uh, to get me started. And then in subsequent collages that I've done, I've come up with my own little patterns, some of them based on Zen tangling. Etc. But I thought hers were so cute and these little flower shapes were so perfect 
um, that I just decided to use her technique. So I'm just going in and adding little doodles, little dots and things. Adds a lot of interest. I like to do little tiny dots. You'll see those around the stems that sort of look like flower pollen maybe. Um, it adds sort of a softness to that. That stem line can kind of take over and be sort of a more rigid element in the design. So I think the little dots and then the little things I'm doing in the center of the flower here, little sketch marks, soften it up and make it just a little bit more whimsical. More sort of Dr. Seussy. I think this whole thing has a Dr. Seuss look. So I'm going to add some little dealy boppers, that's what I call them, to the flower and draw on top of the tissue paper. And the gel medium really makes for a nice drawing surface once it's covering up that tissue paper. You know, tissue paper is so delicate until you get it uh, stuck down with a little bit of medium on top of it, and then it just becomes a great substrate. So now I do like also a little bit of white element in my cards. In the first card that I showed you, I actually used a white gel pen, but this time I'm going to use this Kemper splatter brush, which is ingenious. It has this little nail stuck into a cork, and when you turn the handle, the nail rubs against the brush and spatters just perfectly. So I'm just using a little bit of white acrylic paint and just load up the brush. And this thing is so much fun. And it's also so easy to clean, just two seconds under the faucet. But then you just turn like this and it spatters. You can see it spattering white paint evenly all over my design. And I love that little pop of white. I think it really adds something. Now where I had that big clump of paint, I got just a little bit too much paint underneath that one flower. But the cool thing about the gel medium is that it makes it somewhat non-porous. And so I can just blot that up and you'll see my ink lines again. And it's perfect. So don't worry if it gets a little bit out of control. It's very easy to fix with the gel medium. So there you have the finished tissue paper collage. Hope you enjoy trying this technique.